Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace. So, why haven't I been doing videos? Let me, I've, I've just been really, really overworked mentally in terms of trying to get this movie build done, right? As I told you guys, maybe like 50, 45 days ago, I've been in cahoots with Pablo Escobar, family, his brother, Roberto Escobar, trying to get the rights to his movie, you know? And uh, that's been taking up a lot of my mental space, you know? And the reason why it's been taking up a lot of my mental space is because there's a lot that goes on with it, you know? All the phone calls, all the because he's in Colombia, all the FaceTimes, and it becomes it becomes like your life, right? So it's been about fifty days, and I gave them a deadline on Friday, right? Thursday, I said Thursday, we got to get this deal done. If not, I'm talking to Roberto, like man, sign the contract. I'm talking to him through FaceTime. He wouldn't sign the contract. I got to read the Spanish version. He has the Spanish version. Saturday. It goes on to Saturday. I'm saying, Roberto, sign the contract. We're, we, we negotiated this. It's a fair contract. Sign the contract. So I give up. I text Sunday morning. I, I, I didn't hear from him. I text Sunday morning. I says, I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on to another project. I'm tired of going back and forth. I've presented a fair contract. Um... And I genuinely believe that if you come with me, the project will get done, and that will be the end of it. So I didn't hear from him for uh, three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I get a text at 12. <laughs> the contract is signed. I got a picture of Roberto signing the contract. Go to my Instagram. You'll see it on Silent Heroes, S-I-L-E-N-T-H-E-R-O-S. And, um, and I had a terrible workout Tuesday just because... I was like, damn, how can I blow this opportunity for my family? Obviously, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a blockbuster movie, similar to like Training Day, similar to American Gangster. It's going to be on those lines, right, in terms of its value in our culture. And um, and I'm thinking about the legacy of my family. I wasn't thinking about the money that I could have made on this because pretty much I have a conservative lifestyle. I can live off of $20,000 a year, honestly. And make it happen. So, um, and I was just bummed out, right? And when I got that text saying the contract was signed, I, I, I didn't believe it because I had given up on it three days ago, right? I was like, it's done. I actually called actually called Kenny Porter. And I was like, Ken, I'm not going to Columbia. The movie's fucking done. It's fucking over, you know? And um, so that goes to show you how, how much a relationship Ken and I have if I'm confiding in him, <laughs> right? So, and... Uh, uh, so I give up on it. Obviously, they called me Tuesday. And it's like the contract is signed, sealed, and delivered. I'll get the contract this upcoming Monday, right? And this goes to show you that when you put shit in the bank, right, all that work I put in in the bank for those 45 or 50 days leading up to me giving up, saying, fuck it, it's over, had value. You understand what I'm saying? And I guess when he sat down and looked back at it, like, maybe, maybe I should go with Frederick. Maybe I should go with him. Maybe he will get this done. I mean, this is a mo this is a big. I mean, the budget for this film is going to be. Pro I'm I'm trying to raise twenty million dollars. Not trying. I will raise twenty million dollars for this film, and uh, it's a big budget film. And just to go to show you how big of Michael Bay, the, the, the Transformer director, who has far more has far more influence in terms of first looks, right? Has the uh, was in Medellin when Roberto signed the contract. He went with his team to try and get the deal signed. Antoine Fuqua, who I had a personal conversation with, he's a he's Denzel Washington's uh, started off with Training Day and has since blown up. He's a phenomenal director. I watch all his movies, and uh, we had a personal conversation at Floyd Mayweather's workout. He said, "I flew to Colombia to get this deal done, and I couldn't get the deal done." You know, so that goes to show you, man, the power. Of what you believe in and putting shit in the bank. And I am literally a reflection of much of y'all. I can tell through the comments. 
that I am a reflection of your son, I'm a reflection of your daughter, and I'm a reflection of you. And this goes to show you, when you believe in your fucking self, beyond your own comprehension, beyond your own understanding, beyond your own physical attributes, you know, you can be done, you can be great and get shit done. And uh, I, I, I just sat back and even if this film bombs, just the ability to have, just to have the chance, you know, every morning, that's the one thing I, I, I tell people, not saying you're a morning person, so disrespectful because every morning you have an, op every morning when you wake up, you have an opportunity. If you believe in God, you believe in Buddha, you believe in, you're an atheist. Every time you wake up is an opportunity. And just for me to have this opportunity, as you can see over Michael Bay, Antoine Fuqua, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just overwhelming to, to some degree. And I had to sit back and just breathe. Like, And very seldom do I like some look at myself on 50,000 feet because, you know, when you grow up poor, even now I have a little bit of money and a little bit of success. It's uh, I still have a fear of being broke and being unsuccessful. So I'm always like, I'm always like in a position of, in a uh, space where I gotta grind, I gotta grind. I still pick up pennies off the ground. Like I, I don't, I don't. I, I think of a penny as an opportunity. It's a small opportunity, but it's still an opportunity. You know, what I mean, I remember being bashful, going to the supermarket with food stamps, waiting on the first and the fifteenth. You know what I mean? Just to go eat a hamburger special. You guys, you guys feel me? You know, I grew up on Florence and Hoover, so that Tams on Florence and Hoover, that Tom's or Tams, I'm it's Tams, I think. That two dollar fifty hamburger special, you know, when when we got our our county check, you know what I mean? That was my life, you know, and um, so I'm always grinding, always, always grinding, and I have, and I've never ever sat back. And yesterday, or Monday, Tuesday, yeah, you because know, today is Thursday, so two days ago, I just sat back and I just couldn't believe it. You know, I just literally couldn't believe it because. Honestly, I've done the property deal, and that's slow and grow money. That's really good. But I've never, ever had an opportunity in my, uh, I mean, I've had small opportunities. Don't get me wrong. You know, a couple hundred thousand here, thousand dollars here, that deal. But I've never, ever had an opportunity where I can make fighter money. You know what I mean? I Like I, how I tell Ken and I, I said, see, you guys are great. You guys make your money in one lump sum. If you fight for $5 million, you get $5 million. I've never had that opportunity as a professional, you know, going from teaching, training, to property, to now making movies. This is my first opportunity where I have a chance to get that fighter money in one lump sum and set the set for my legacy, you know, for my great, my great grandkids now. You understand what I'm saying? So that was that those were my thoughts. You know, those were my real thoughts I was having. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, I got to make good. I got to make great on this opportunity. And and I say all that to, to, to say to you guys. It's okay to think unrealistic. You are doing yourself a favor to think unrealistically. All right. You know, and, and I was just reflecting the same drugs that pop. Remember, Pablo Escobar. Is response was responsible for 70% of the cocaine in the world, right? So with that being said, I have so many family members that were strung out on cocaine, crack, PCP, that type of thing. And it's, uh, this film holds duality for me, you know what I mean? Once how the influx of cocaine and crack in my community had a personal effect on me, Whereas I have to do a film on the man who actually was the producer of that was the plug, the quote unquote plug in this in this contemporary society. That's what the word they use. So it's uh, it has that. You know, it has it, it, it's the gift and the curse, the good, the bad. It, it, it takes me through a range of emotions. And uh, hopefully you guys will see that in the film. You know what I mean? And in the writing process. But uh, it's uh, it's a great feeling. I have a great opportunity. And uh, I think we're about two to four years away from you guys seeing this film. And um, 
I should be done with the documentary in about a year and a half because it's gonna it's a lot, it's, it's it's research based. You understand what I'm saying? And um, I'm excited about that journey. So I will be going to Columbia soon, and uh, um, it'll be fun. So I just want to leave leave that with you guys, man. It's okay to think unrealistically. You know what I mean? And like you guys, I grind every day. Every fucking day. It, it's a, it may be a different grind. You know what I mean? I'm a handyman during the day. You know? Unclogging pipes. <laughs> starting water heaters. You know? The whole shebang. You know what I mean? Sweeping floors. You know? Extinguishing fires from neighbors. And, you know? But, uh... But, man. I, you know, I, uh... You know, I'm, I'm just reflecting, you know, and the same reflections I'm having is the same reflections that I'm wishing upon y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, anyways, man, have a wonderful Thursday. The fight schedule after this weekend, we running with fights. We are literally running with fights until September, until October 7th, right? Until uh, September 30th. I think there's a big fight every weekend. After this Saturday. So, because you got Lomachenko the next week, August 12th. I'm not unsure. Terrence Crawford, August 19th, Floyd Mayweather. Then we take a break Labor Day. And then we have uh, Tom Loeffler's Chocolatito. And then we have September 16th. And then we have September 23rd. There's a fight September 23rd. And then we have the Charlos on a doubleheader. Lubin versus Charlo and September 30th. So, it's exciting time. So, it's a good time to be a fighting fan, and it's a great time to believe in yourself. So Barbershop Conversations, wishing you guys positive energy. I know people say I love y'all, and I know it's not from a brother-sister love, but I, but, but I think um, the accountability that I present to you guys is a symptom of love. So hold yourself accountable today, you know. Pick up those pennies, you know, and those, those pennies are a synonym for humility, grace, uh, knowing that one small incident can lead to one great existence. So anyways, enjoy your day, and uh, let's be great today. I'll have a peace.